to play any more games in Qualcomm Stadium. The school wants to keep playing there to like 2023, 2024, and who knows how many delays a public, uh, a public project of that magnitude could have. It could potentially be a, a disaster for both students and taxpayers, and we see here that a uh, very similar plan with no taxpayer money and just a lot quicker will it come to fruition and, and really be a benefit to San Diego as a whole as well as the university itself. Yeah, well, we felt that the Soccer City plan didn't really, uh, or the SESU West plan didn't really um, line up well with what we wanted as students, um, being that it's, so SESU West is publicly funded, it's going to raise taxpayer dollars, maybe student tuition, like that's something that we can't support. So we, we had to really get behind Soccer City and support it 100%. We love everything that they're talking about, bringing in a 60 acre river park, uh, bringing in a, a state of the art stadium. It's, it's something that we had to support. We're trying to get uh, Soccer City, November 2018. We're trying to get all students to vote for that. <laughs> 